friends and welcome back to the vape mister channel i hope you're doing okay because i'm doing okay too and i fancy a simple teardown so i'm gonna do this one this is the relics relics relax i am not entirely sure r-e-l-x i'm not entirely sure what that is supposed to pronounce as relics yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Answer in the comments, please. How do you spell, how, how do you pronounce relics? Because I don't know. Relics, relax, it's something. So yeah, this should hopefully be a simple one. I'm hoping for a quick, easy one today. It's a watermelon chill and it cost me £5.99 and it is a 600 puff. I actually kind of liked it. The flavour is very, very mid. I'm describing a lot of flavours like that recently, but there's a lot better flavours than this, and there's a lot worse flavours than this. It's kind of straight down the middle. Inhale isn't that bad. I have had a lot worse. It's not the easiest thing, inhale, but I have had worse. It has a very tiny hole at the bottom for the inhale. And the bottom's kind of transparent, so you can see through it. It's got the hole here, which goes directly over the sensor. And you can just see the air like flow hole there, that little dark spot. So it has the center in the middle and then here is your airflow channel. In terms of duration, it it almost got to 600. I'd say more like 500 overall. And the design, I actually kind of like the design. It's like a gloss and then a bit of a mat at the bottom. Not very much on it. It's got the usual CE marks and do not throw away made in China. Right at the bottom here, I think that's a serial number or something. Not 100%. And it's got a model number as well. We don't see that very often. So it's got model GA600A22. Interesting. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's rip this guy open because I am curious to see what is inside one of these relics bars. Relics? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out how to pronounce it when some kind person goes in the comments and tells me how to pronounce it. So if you do know how to pronounce it, please let me know. Uh, sorry about the noise again today. The neighbours are being a little bit noisy today. So if you do hear any noises, I do apologise. Not really much I can do. But let's get into this guy. And I'm, again, I'm hoping this will be an easy one. So let's start by getting the mouthpiece off. That was very easy. Stay. Stay. I was looking for tweezers because it does have, is that a drip catcher cotton? Yeah, and in fact, you know what, the, the top rubber's nearly come out with it there as well. So there's the drip catcher cotton. Let me just get some toilet roll, only a single piece because it doesn't look like is very much fluid on oh I, I yeah i was wrong i was halfway through saying it doesn't look like there's a lot of fluid in it and then as soon as i squeeze it there's actually a lot more than i thought okay clean up after myself right the top rubber kind of came out with the top mouthpiece so might as well go all the way to keep out. Oh, right, that was actually the top of the tank then. Just go and pick that up. 
fell onto the floor and it is literally just a rubber seal nothing too fancy and the bottom let's get the bottom bit off which also came off very easy yeah it's just a kind of semi-transparent bottom but the top is off what's that around the edge is it glue Ah, oh, right, so the mouthpiece was actually glued in. You see this little line here? I'm just tracing it. That's actually dry glue that was kind of holding the mouthpiece in place. It didn't do a very good job, but at least there was something there for it. Right, where are my straight tweezers there they are because i'm going to try either end and just push and we should whoop, be able to just pop the entire thing out there we go so the body is now empty and it is a metal body that that tank's kind of Diddy. Little tiny circuit board in it. Right, let's snip the wires and isolate that battery. So there's the tank. I'll have a look at that in a minute. And the sensors down here. Let's just isolate that as well. Pull that off. Right, let's have a quick look at the sensor. Put it in the comments, what do you reckon? Five point or six point? Oh, it's a bit difficult to come off, but it's coming. There we go. Nearly. Right, it is a six point sensor I've gone through the sensors already I don't really need to tell you about sensors do I the battery has a big rubber or felt sticker over it let's see if I can clear enough of it to see the battery I don't need to get all of it off, just enough to see the details. There we go, I think that'll do. So we have a 13300, 1.48 watt hours, 3.7 volts and 400 milliamp hours. Quite an old battery. Production date 13th of the 5th, 2023. This battery is a year and a half old at this point. Okay, now let's have a look at the tank and see what coil is inside. Kind of looks like it might be a mesh coil to me. Let's do the tank first though and see if we get a good squelch. Well, there's not much of one. Mm -mm. There's actually not very much fluid left in that at all. Okay. Now we just need to look at the coil. Can I take you out in one piece? I doubt it, but I'm going to try. It's got a plastic bracer in it again. So this will be a mesh coil. And every time it has one of these plastic bracers in, 
it ends up getting destroyed. So you know what? I'm not even going to try this time. We've seen oils like this before. It is just the standard mesh. It'll be a mesh 2.0. I'm just trying to see from the top. So yeah, it's a mesh 2.0, but I'm not even going to bother trying to take it out. I'll just do more damage than I will anything else. He says, and then pops it out with great ease. Right. Okay. I have no idea where that plastic bracer went. It flew somewhere over there, bounced off the wall, and I have, I have no idea where that went. Clueless. But let's open it up and have a quick look at this mesh. Oh. It's a slab mesh. So it's a mesh 2.0 with slabs in the middle of it. Not very common to see them. They're not that effective. They kind of make hot spots in the cotton. Mm -mm. I'm glad I got it out in one piece though. But still, that was a nice, quick, easy video for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's very much appreciated. And hit that like button as well. It really does help out the channel a lot. And if you want to, pop me a comment down below. I do try and respond to as many comments as I can. So hopefully I'll see you down there. But for now, I'll see you in the next video. So, um, bye.